Hey, what's up, humans? Welcome back to Hogwarts Legacy! Ah, yes. The castle of Hogwarts. There's a lot to do here. From dueling, to class, to discovery. That's pretty much all we've been doing. Hi. You guys are cute. Bye bye then. So last time we went through the library and we got some information out of the forbidden section. Just scared the shit out of me. I was just playing Dead Space. <laughs> like, oh no. They're everywhere. Revelio. Revelio the game. What? What's down there? What's down there? I can't go down there. Lock tower. So you can't be taller than this kid here. Otherwise, it would bonk your head. Damn it. There is one little gripe that I do have with this game. Ninety. These are locked. Oh, I'm not level twelve yet. Like this one's the equipped item. I'll equip this. And then I'll change its appearance back to the other one. there was a way that I could just save this stuff and not throw it away. This doesn't count, right? going to make a decision, but I don't like the decision. Where is fast trouble? It's 
Let's go find those flu flames. So if I go straight into the big market area by the what looks to be the candy shop. Yeah, we'll go upstairs. Blue flames. <laughs> now I have these blue flames, right? Stop doing the world map. Go here. Yes. Okay. Rebellion. Magical mail. These chutes in the post office magically sort various bits of mail. The post office itself houses over 200 owls, color-coded based on how quickly a particular letter or parcel needs to be delivered. Hello there. Don't worry about me. Wait. I shouldn't be opening things because it literally just gave me nothing, I feel. door. Oh God, where is it? I'm sorry. I'm lost. Not a day goes by I don't do something I didn't know. I'm all out of the new socks, so if your feet are smelly, you'll have to work it out for yourself. Plenty for your perusal today. Take your time. It's called a shower. If I haven't said it before, it's a pleasure doing business with you. You definitely didn't. Those jammies are good. I don't have any traits. No traits. I'd say that looks as if it was made for you. I really can't tell the difference. I suspect you have a sharp eye for fashion. Be sure to stop by whenever you're about. I can't imagine how muggles get by without magic. This would be why I'm not seeing anything. Hmm. Bit visuals. This is why I say it should be mandatory for all games to have a photo mode at this point. Sometimes it seems all roads lead to Hogsmeade. Do they though? We gotta, 
We're gonna go to that candy shop eventually. Flame, dear flame. All these balloons out here. There's a spire up there. God. Happens all the time. Just hear weird noises in the back. Hello? I don't knock, I just walk in. That's the toilet. Revelio. Groundskeeper's tools. One might surmise that this set of tools could be enchanted to create all sorts of furnishings for a cozy hut as large as the occupant may need. Foreshadowing. Kites. Very elaborate ones. This looks intriguing. Revelio. You guys look like you're having fun. Uh, you for some assistance? Yeah, I don't know what you need, but... Hello, can I help you? Oh, thank goodness. Yes, my name is Grace Pinch Smedley. Of the Bath, Pinch Smedleys? I was hoping someone would come along soon. I was about to defy my father's wishes and would never have forgiven myself. You see, I need to retrieve something from the bottom of the lake. Might you be the one to help me? Well, yeah, an underwater adventure sounds like fun, but I don't think I can do that. Diving into the lake sounds like an adventure. Tell me more. Splendid! Precisely the response I'd hoped for. What do you need help retrieving? Years ago, my grandfather, who fancied himself quite the astronomer, set sail from Hogsmeade Station for what was meant to be a quick stargazing cruise with my grandmother. They never returned. I'm so sorry. What happened to them? We can't be sure. We only know that neither they nor their boat made it back to shore. They were presumed drowned. Father was so distraught that he forbade our family from setting foot on or in the Black Lake ever again. A treasured family astrolabe vanished with them that night. If you could dive down and retrieve it, I may be able to bring my father some peace. 
I'm sorry, did you say that this place is called the Black Lake? Yeah, never mind. What exactly is an astrolabe? It's an astonishing ancient navigational tool. Essentially, a handheld model of the universe. It's mainly used for studying the stars, astronomical pursuits, but it has nearly a thousand uses. Fascinating device. Sadly, I'd imagine it's rusted beyond repair now. Still, we'd love to have it returned to us. It would be like getting a bit of my grandparents back. You seem to think I might have heard of the Bath Pinch Smedleys. Why would I know your family? That's like asking why the sky is blue or grass is green. The Pinch Smedley name is synonymous with intellectual curiosity. We are known for our contributions to science and art. I'm surprised you haven't heard of us, frankly. But with all I plan to discover about the world around us, those that don't yet know the name certainly one day will. Hmm, it sounds dangerous. Oh, God damn it. Especially for reference the vessel's last alleged location against the lake's topography, depth charts, and tide schedule. My best guess is that it's just over there, about a furlong from the dock. It would be wonderful to have my grandfather's astrolabe back. I do hope you find the astrolabe. It would mean so much to our family. It sounds as if her astrolabe is just northeast of the dock. I should dive down and see. Maybe not. Sorry about that. Had to cut away and move the camera. And I had it set up in a different way here than I usually do, so. I never thought Ramrock's loyalists would go this far. Blue flames. Oh, Noah Hogsfield, one of my two favorite Hogsfields. Lovely this time of year. Quidditch cape. Five gold. I'm gonna be richer than the Potter family when we're done. This is how they did it too. I question they just looted everything. Hello, hello. Hello, sir. What do you sell here? Hello. I'm Jalal Semi, and this is my potion shop. I can answer any questions you have about the town. Let me see. What do you have for sale? What can I help you with today? Hope to see you again sometime. Yeah. Yeah, we'll see. I never thought Ramrock's loyalists would go this far. Pardon me, is everything all right? Hardly. I've just lost my business and almost my life. You'd best look elsewhere for wares. I've nothing to sell now. I never thought it'd come to this. Be on your guard. Ranrock and his loyalists will spare no one. They attacked you. Oh, Ranrock has no patience for goblins who won't join him. While I too would like to see goblin kind treated by wizards as equals, bloodshed is not the answer. When I said as much, they turned on me, struck me till I nearly passed out. Took my carts, my belongings, even that which is most precious to me, my paintings. 
You mentioned that your paintings were taken. Are you a painter? I am. It's my calling, though most would think it an unusual path for a goblin. Most of my family work in metal, or associated with Gringotts. I'd wager my finest brush that Ramrock's lot have no appreciation for any of my work, and it'll be tossed aside for kindling. Without my carts and my livelihood, who knows when I'll be able to paint again. Kind of being thrown off by these dragonflies behind him. Has Ranrock's lot ever attacked you like this before? They've been taunting and threatening me for a while now. But they've always believed that violence is the only way to get what they want. Things have taken a much darker turn of late. Ramrock is getting more powerful, and his loyalists know it. They feel untouchable. Ramrock assumed that all goblins would agree to follow him. But he was wrong. Many of us would like a diplomatic end to the discord with Wizardkind. I'm sorry this happened to you. I shall certainly keep an eye out for your cards. That is very kind of you, but I think they took them to their camp southwest of here, just past some ruins. Too dangerous to try and retrieve them. I did enchant the carts to return to me if I ever lost them, however. Slim though the chances may be, I'm holding out hope that some of what was taken is returned to me. It was nice meeting you. I wish it had been under better circumstances. Now the dragonflies just kind of like pop in and they disappear. All right, do it again. After what Ranrock did to that goblin banker at Gringotts, I shouldn't be surprised at what happened to Arn. Eh. But you're asking right now, did I just pull a Dark Souls and try to crush a box by rolling into it? I got least juice for free, I didn't have to buy it. Revelio. So we're probably going to have to keep going through this. Okay. There's fruit in there, I'm sorry. Let me also. Slowly. How long does this last? No. No, stop. Incendio. Oh. 
I don't know. I didn't intend to break the rock, though. With the etchings on it. Light on fire. I need the light sconces. So I was a little bit spoiled by the menu telling me that I can have a mount. Uh. Here, leechy, leechy. Question mark. Yeah, come here, you little. Come here. Let me answer. Cotton grass dug bog. Come here. Dog bogs. We'll go back there, hold on. Just doing some scouring. Remember, I grew up poor. I don't like to buy things, I like to sell things. Seem like there was anything out here. Are all barrels breakable? Nope. Money. It's just someone's poor wallet. They left it up sitting by the deck of the bay. And I just stole it. And ran away. This is not a good song to play. <laughs> I'll touch it anyway. Pork lump juice. Fire. Incendio. Let me know, sir. Accio. Server. Incendio. Oops, 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 oops. God, that takes a while to get through. God, 
Takes a while to get through and back to the menu, doesn't it? Let's see, Let's go with that. Lumos. There is a light here. Whoa, 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 dude. What are you doing? Learn how to walk. Are you serious? On the first episode, I was destroying those. Now I have to kick them. So we have a bow and arrow. Revelio. Lavender Patch Scarf. Is that all that's in here? So then... Revelio. Something must come down this hill to interact with that little pit. Was it night time already? Imagine, <laughs> I just thought of this. Imagine if you're playing an open world game like this or Grand Theft Auto and you're doing it as a playthrough for YouTube or whatever or even for yourself aha but yeah imagine okay imagine if it be when it became nighttime at the end of the episode That'd be like 12 minutes. <laughs> Let's go. Let's go. Come on. Got anything else? I don't have some things. Don't think I can do anything here. At least not yet. Incendio. Rebellion. That ball in that pit. That's all I know. We have been skipping class for far too long. It's time for bed. It's time for class. 
I know, I'm just running through here. But there's that chest. And we need the contents of that chest. No stamina bar? We just run forever? That's unfortunate. Whatever that was, it's gone now. Enter. Gryffindor Tower. Light those on fire. Got it. Then it's gone. I thought it'd stay on fire. Revelio. Latchlin the Lanky. This statue depicts the wizard Latchlin the Lanky, a tall, slender wizard who appears quite proud of himself. For what precisely, no one knows. For what, precisely, no one knows. <laughs> I'm a level 12 wizard. I'm tall and lanky and now a wizard. Getting better at that. I'm learning. No, seriously, it's time for bed. Yeah, I could only... That's what, just what was making me chuckle, that's all. Rebellion. I will smash you into this lock. Okay, that's not the button. my chest time for the bed no not that tower Is all this stuff? <laughs> that map is not very intuitive. I'll slot another one this in here. This Dalian keys challenge is coming along nicely. Wait, do I have another one? Yes, I do. Like I thought, I had three. Um, 
bed. Can I not go to bed? Then I'm wasting my time. Go here. We'll do that trials and tribulations soon. Revelio. Where does this lead? Outside. Are you? What am I looking at? Little beasties. Out here, it's behind me. Down here. Okay. Flu flames, where are you? Should be standing like right in front of it. Oh, it's to my right. Damn. Here? 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 Don't mind me. Oh, useless. Dear Madam Kogawa, I'm writing to do with prof uh, Professor Black's decision to cancel Quidditch. As you know, joining a professional Quidditch team is my utmost dream, and I believe my chances will now be ruined, or at least significantly thwarted. Professor Weasley insists that we must defer to the headmaster, and she encouraged me to practice on my own. I have devised some challenging trials for myself, but it is not at all the same as practicing on the pitch. Nothing is. Please, could I ask that you speak to the headmaster or to Professor Weasley? I should be, shall be miserable my whole life if I can't play Quidditch properly for this entire year. Thank you, Professor uh, Imelda Reyes. Yeah, I want to play Quidditch. Dear Madam Kagawa, marvelous news that you will be joining the, uh, the faculty at Hogwarts as our new flying instructor. I dare say our work together at Hogwarts will be less eventful than our time near Yokohama Harbor, though one never knows. I shall look forward to seeing you soon. If you have any questions in the meantime, please do not hesitate to send me an owl. Warm regards, Matilda Weasley. Sending an owl is like sending a text. Text. Doesn't get there as quickly, but quicker than your typical post. Where are these flu flames? There you are. 
Hell yeah. I want to play Quidditch. If you were on a Quidditch, Quidditch team, let's not stumble over my words here, but if you were on a Quidditch team, what position would you play? Let me know down in the comments. Uh... I think I'd do better kind of like being the goalie. I'm just not sure. What, I forgot what they call them. Yeah, I would, I mean, I, and again, I'm not actually sure if they typically have a goalie, but mostly defense is what I would be playing. I'd love to use my broom to hit a quaffle back. Or at least to stop it from going into the goal. Ah, we're playing baseball now. <laughs> I don't want to be at the school anymore. what we uh, torture students here cages humiliation I don't think they expel us <laughs> incendio nope mm -hmm. Not close enough for that. Yeah, you don't have to worry about me. It's not that far. Relax. Just relax and jump. So much to explore. But I assume that we have to wait till daytime in order to go to class. Okay, well that's not a good door to have on a castle that's a security risk so yeah once dawn hits we're gonna go do the tomes and tribulations class and then we'll see from there I guess if you just stand around long enough, it's going to be like, there's something here. Castle ramparts. Along with powerful protective enchantments, these defensive ramparts have safeguarded Hogwarts Castle for centuries. The ancient rooms and corridors along the ramparts might be worth exploring as they harbor mysteries of their own. Yeah, like, do we torture children here? By, by we, I mean you. Because I'm a child. <laughs> in this game. And it's concerning to me that people are bringing their children here to learn about witchcraft and wizardry full knowing that they have a torture chamber. And dungeons. A 
Give me a book. I mean, page. Rebellion. Now that is cool. Hives? What are these hives? Rebellion. Let's find out what they are. Glum bumbles. Glum bumbles are magical flying insects that produce a treacle which will cause melancholy if consumed. They feed on nettles and nest in dark and secluded places. Unfortunately, they are known to infest beehives, having a devastating effect on the honey therein. Why? <laughs> So we'll we just keep him around. It's cool. Is it dawn yet? We need to get to class. I can't sleep. Jonathan has insomnia now. And he can sprint for days. Value everything. Okay. Okay, this is something. Okay, blue light, go away. Incendio. Lumos. I don't know. Mm. It's got something and it probably has to move around, but I'm probably not powerful enough to do it. Or do I have to wait? I know these suits of armor can do whatever the hell they want. Incendio. No. Get back. Get back. That was my health. Okay. So get back. I've stumbled my way into a dangerous area. Incendio. You're not supposed to be in here. Oh. 
Tartan Sunrise Scarf. What else is in here? Rebellion. Akio. That's it's not it. I destroyed stuff. Okay, I'll come back to you. <laughs> So I'm here. Scarecrow Sorcerer Hat. Rebellion. Yeah, I, I see that plant in there. We're going to go see what's up with it. You guess wish me luck. Nope, that's not fired. Damn it. Safe now. Do you speak? Take your money, thank you. Uh. This is the way out. Those look like they can do some Rebellion. damage. Maybe not. Hi there. Uh, ow. Ow. Incendio. Damn it. There, plant, you're no longer lonely. 
Revelio. Give me some lore. It's probably daytime now. We got more in here. We got a big one downstairs. Rebellion. Yes, it is. It is time for class. As I said. Ceramic mask, hell yeah. Let's let's actually throw that on. I'll be the creepy kid. Hey, I didn't know that that Buckethead came to uh, went to Hogwarts. Give me some flu flames. Where's my nearest flu flames? This is definitely it though. Alright, so, class. Tomes and Tribulations. I don't feel well. Why don't you go and see Nurse Blaney? Yes. We'll come with you. Not a chance. Last time I was in there, she'd spilled a bottle of Skelligro, and I swear I saw her topping it up. Topping it up with what? I don't know. Water or something. Are you sure? Nurse Blaney is highly regarded. I can't see her doing anything untoward. Now, but what if she did? And what if that Skelligro doesn't work properly now? <laughs> Galleons and a historian's uniform. Is there more treasure for me to find? It's like a thing right here. Oh, it says it's up. It's time. No, not quest. Class. This is not class. You cannot be serious. Goblins working with Rookwood makes no sense. It is rather unorthodox, to say the least. Unorthodox? It's inconceivable. It's... Ah, Fig. You have a visitor. I'll see what I can find out. Hmm. Sir, I was able to search the restricted section while you were with Professor Black. It was a book we were after. What? That's... Wait. You accessed the restricted section? 
But how? Thinking on it, perhaps it's best you spare me the details. Fair enough. In fact, the book was below the restricted section as it appeared on the map. I want to hear everything. First, let's have a look. Oh. Oh, dear. Some of these pages seem to be missing. It appears someone has got to the book before us. Still, I will need time to study what remains. Perhaps we can still salvage something useful, though it may take some time. I wonder why it was here, below Hogwarts. I think I know, sir. I saw two more memories where I found the book. Another pensive, Godric's heart. The man we saw before, Percival Rackham, was a professor here. The first memory showed him and three other professors using ancient magic to restore a hamlet from a drought. Miriam was right. And the second memory? They were talking to a student who started as a fifth year, like I did. She could see traces of magic too. Why those memories? Hmm. Perhaps this book will explain. Now I'll have to take it with me to London. The headmaster has insisted that I speak directly to the minister about George's death. All right. What will you tell them about Mr. Osric's death? I don't know how much I dare say. George tried to convince the ministry about Ranrock, but to no avail. My instinct is to follow the path we are on for the moment and keep the details to ourselves until we know more. I understand. I'll see what I can learn about the missing pages while you're gone. Good. Don't neglect your studies. Your wand work is improving by the day. But you'll want to pay attention in herbology and potions. There's more to magic than spell casting. Plenty to keep me occupied while you're gone. You've done exceptionally well. I look forward to seeing all that you've accomplished when I return. Oh, and don't neglect your friends. You may be surprised by how much you can learn from them as well. Sorry. It's time to prove your dueling metal and see if we've a new school champion. Meet me at the usual place for the final round of crossed ones. Also, the training dummy is still available. Meet me in Lower Hogsfield as soon as possible. I would like to talk to you about Rookwood and Harlow, and it might be best to do so outside of the castle. She is the best one. It's gonna make me do this. We were just there. Bandit camps. Professor Fig and Weasley have asked that I teach you an additional defensive spell. Please complete the assignments I have given you, and then proceed to see me in my classroom. Okay. Anybody else? I thought we were going to class. That's the one we need to attend. Let's go to Herbology. It's just crawling around down there. Let's go. Professor Garlic, how 
wonderful it is to see you again, Lenora, dear. Oh, here. You'll need these for today's class. Uh, um, uh, A little treat for your auntie. Class, please welcome the newest rose in our garden. We do look forward to growing together. How thrilling it is to have everyone back together again. This year will be filled with enchantment and excitement, but the most important thing cultivated in herbology is knowledge. The prudent herbologist is no more afraid of the venomous tentacular than the bouncing bowl. Then, today we will be acquainting ourselves with the mellifluous tuber known as the mandrake root. Oh God. Accio. <laughs> Let's see if we can't make our fibrous friends a bit more comfortable, shall we? <laughs> First, let's protect our ears. <laughs> now, everyone, Grip their mandrake by the tendrils and give it a firm tug. Oh, don't fight me. Come on. Oh. Like a warm, dirty blanket, putting the mandrake right at ease. Repair! I'm very sorry about that. Yours was a bit mature, I'm afraid. All right then, off you go. Splendid work, everyone. Now, for our next task, we'll be planting dittany at our potting tables. You can all get started. Hmm. I wonder if hippogriffs like mock grass. Let's find out. I do wonder about Professor Fig. He's hardly ever in his classroom. Most strange. He's busy. I should think Professor Garlic would be more careful with her mandrakes. Hey, man. Life does not all evolve like clockwork or grow like clockwork you know some things mature faster than others like me versus you the best time to plant a seed is last season the second best time is now okay fascinating plant isn't it oh, miss an eye hello Nothing to say? Okay. Well, it was good to see you. Did you know that you can use the mandrake to defend yourself? Why, the very idea. <sighs> Destiny leaves. Let's see what's written here. Dear Professor Garlic, how very thoughtful of you. And to remember that strawberries are my favorite. They're as sweet as can be. It's no wonder muggles love them so much. That's a racist term. Everything you cultivate seems to be of such high quality, from bitter root to berries. I do hope that my darling niece can learn the skill whilst under your tutelage. Lenora so adores you, as do all of your students, I'm sure. Warmest regards always, Eleanor Everlay. You know, I probably need to read the books again. It's been so long since I actually read them. Then I could be like, oh, the, 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 the person. Mallow Sweet Leaves. All right, let's have a chat with our professor. Yes, professor. Firstly, well done with your mandrake. They can be rather difficult to get a grasp of. It was hard to get it out of that pot. I had to really mash the button. And then realize that that's not what you do. 
I nearly went deaf. Actually, I enjoyed it. I couldn't help but catch your enthusiasm. How kind of you. It seems you're already taking to herbology like a mandrake to fresh soil. Now, as I mentioned, next we'll be planting Dittany. Let us find you some seeds. I already have some, Professor. Pick them up in Hogsmeade. You visited the Magic Neep. Wonderful. A prepared student is bound to bloom. I've arranged for you to have your own potting table here in the classroom. It wasn't easy to spare one on such late notice. Plant the seeds there now, and you can return to harvest them later. Even with soil, sunlight, and a bit of magic, they will take time to grow. Let's see how to balance my star thistle arrangement. Niffler's fancy, or roses? Oh, mine's over here. Dittany's restorative properties make it a vital ingredient in the Wiganweld potion, as you all should know from Professor Sharp's class. Pardon me, Professor. What am I supposed to do with the Dittany seeds? Your part in all this floral alchemy is simple. Take the seeds to your potting table, plant them, and then wait for harvest time. Front of the class. Wow. But I have some stuff, but we have to do this. It says 10 minutes. It'll give me five. Well done. Once it can be harvested, your Dittany will be ready to use in Wiganweld potion. I'll let Professor Sharp tell you about that. Now, what say we branch out? Introduce you to a different sort of flora, the Chinese chomping cabbage. You'll find that some plants are better suited to uses outside of a cauldron. The cabbages do get testy without something to chew. Fortunately, I have a dummy for them to gnaw on. Be a dear, and let them have a good chomping. Yes, Professor. They're in the other greenhouse. It's just at the end of the footbridge leading out of this room. Your classmate, Mr. Pruitt, has kindly offered to accompany you. Come back and see me when you're finished. Oh, and mind your fingers. They do bite. Hence the chomping part of their name, I'm sure. Hello. Saw you on your way to Hogsmeade the other day. Nice to meet you. I'm Leander. I'll be showing you the Chinese chomping cabbages. Up these stairs will take us there. But, your lead. Up. Nice work in defense against the dark arts, by the way. Excuse me? Your duel with Sebastian. And he's good. <laughs> Thinks he's really good. But you outright slaughtered him. It was brilliant. Oh. Well, thank you. I have a fan. I only put Sebastian in his place myself. I mean, I would have if Hecate hadn't stopped me. Didn't she stop that dragon skull from crushing you? <sighs> Typical Slytherin trick, dropping a dragon skull on someone during a fight. We Gryffindors fight with honor. And uh, Ravenclaws too. At least you did. Sure you're just saying that. You know, I'd be afraid of my mask too. All right, so it's down here. Here we are, home of the Chinese chomping cabbage. I see them. Go on, grab a few of those cabbages. Just mind your fingers. I almost lost a thumb once. Don't worry, Nurse Blaney put it back on. Trust. Now, see that dummy? Just toss the cabbages at it, and they'll do the rest. Hold L1 and tap R3. Oh. Look at that. That chomp from anything they can get their uh, mouths on. <laughs> Mum planted some in her garden last year to keep the gnomes out. Did save her the denoming, but they left her honking daffodils in tatters. Vicious little bastards, aren't they? My kind of plants. Not like stupid booba tubers and bouncing bulbs. 
the kind of plants that just have your back in a fight. Uh, not saying you can't go it alone, but, well, imagine that wasn't a dummy. Yeah, I was imagining that, that already. Trust me, Leander. I was imagining it the entire time. You were? I mean, of course. You're, uh, not someone to be trifled with. I see that. Dogweed and Death Cap has more of them, if you're keen. Other plants, too. Ones your parents wouldn't plant in the garden. You get the idea. Anyway, we, uh, probably ought to head back to class. Take your time. I'll see you back in class. Put these in my pocket, thank you. That's quite the plant. I have Dittany now. I have a ton of Dittany. And I'll be getting more. In about six minutes. Gotta let it cure and not cure, but grow. Curing is for things like concrete. And meat. Like if you're gonna make jerky. I think anyway, don't quote me. <laughs> and with that helpful reminder as to why we should always wear our dragon hide gloves, I shall end our lesson here. Terribly sorry, Mr. Clopton. Hello. I tended to the Chinese chomping cabbages, Professor. Remarkable plants, aren't they? I hope they weren't too much trouble. Oh, don't see any bite marks or missing digits. And good, as you do seem to be quite green-fingered. Oh, I'm eager to see your skill in the soil continue to blossom. Magical plants have so much to offer. I'm eager to learn more. I'm glad. Herbology is a bounteous subject. Tend to your garden, and it will tend to you. Huh. Well, I suppose that's everything. Do come by for a chat sometime. I so enjoy checking in with my new students. Oh, those mandrakes are really relishing their new pots. Me my damned hearing. To make anything grow, we must first understand it. That goes for plants as well as friendships. Kindness and concern are as necessary in the greenhouse as in the great hall. Is this a beanstalk? All of the classes have been interesting so far. It has been interesting. Of an Esco. This goes where? V. Revelio. Dummy. The chest that doesn't want me to open it. That's weird.
Revelio. Heard you. If it sees I'm after, I'll always go to the magic. I better be on All right. Those are challenges. Now we need to go to potion class. Someone from the ministry guarding the school after the incident. We've been down here before, but not with the key. It's a little off, but whatever. <laughs> Potion class. Let's do this. Potions is one of the most challenging and hazardous subjects taught at this school. As fifth years, you will be required to reach new heights of both discipline and intellect. You will begin this term by brewing a Wigan Weld Potion. Mr. Takar, can you tell us why this particular potion might come in handy? Yes, Professor Sharp. The Wiganwell potion can be used to sterilize and even heal a variety of injuries. It can heal some injuries, but not all. Points for Ravenclaw. Before today's class is completed, each of you will have brewed a Wiganwell potion of your own. You never know when you might need it. Please begin. It's real fidgety, that one. Use a strong, even motion when crushing your ingredients. Please be meticulous when adding powder to your potions. One errant sneeze could be disastrous. Do I add more? We put in three that time. I see most of you have not forgotten how to stir. Not an easy potion to brew. Well done. And from what I hear of your recent exploits in Hogsmeade, you'd also do well to practice brewing the defensive Edurus potion. Professor Weasley had you acquire the recipe from Jay Pippins, correct? Yes, sir. Good. For the moment, you can find the ingredients you need in my office. But in the future, you'll be expected to provide your own ingredients. Some can be harvested from the plants you grow in your herbology class, and rarer ones can be purchased. Others, however, may be harder to obtain, and will require you to be a bit more... resourceful. Come and see me when you've finished brewing. 
and we'll see if it was skill or luck the first time around. Professor Sharp said that Wiganweld potion can treat injuries. Hope I never knew. My parents considered keeping me home from school this year after the rumors of a goblin rebellion. Amir. Professor Sharp must have learned a lot during his time as an Auror. I wish he talked about it more. I was impressed that you were able to answer Professor Sharp's question about the Wiganweld potion. Oh, thank you. That means a lot coming from a fellow Ravenclaw. And I've never seen anyone brew such a flawless Wiganweld potion on their first try. Well done. I'm glad I was able to get it right the first time. You must simply have a knack for potion making. Some students seem so confounded by potion recipes, it's as if they're written in gobbledygook. A fascinating language, by the way. Neither here nor there, really, but I am a self-taught speaker. Merlin's beard, good conversation is the enemy of free time. I must return my book, Gateway to the Far Stars, before my next class. Speaking of stars, we'll be in astronomy together. You'll love it. Professor Shaw is firm, but quite clever. See you soon, no doubt. I guess we're in... Did I hear Professor Sharp say that you have permission to go into his office? Uh, yeah. He did say that. He wants me to get more ingredients to brew another potion. Brilliant! You, my friend, have been presented with an extraordinary opportunity. I'm Gareth, by the way. Gareth Weasley. Bit of a prodigy with potions, if I do say so myself. Pleasure to meet you. Wait, are you related to Professor Weasley? She's my aunt keeps too close an eye on me for comfort. Ugh. But she can't be everywhere. Listen, anyone with a troll-sized brain can brew an Adjurus potion. I'm working on something that's certain to be spectacular. I'm just missing one tiny last ingredient that will add that extra spark. I suspect that's where I come in. You're as clever as I'd hoped. I simply need a single Fooper feather, as you'll already be in Sharp's office with his permission. Perhaps you could grab it for me. Yeah, I'm not sure. I don't know, Gareth. I don't want to get on Sharp's bad side. You won't. Fooper feathers aren't that valuable. Sharp won't even miss it. No. With confidence, he gave me to go into his office to grab stuff that I need. I'm not doing that for you. I am new here. I've enough to worry about collecting the ingredients he wants me to get. I'm afraid I can't help you. I understand. I'll sort something else out. Also, if you uh, make that potion and it does something destructive in here, like on accident, I'm not saying you're doing it nefariously, but then that's all me too. Fine job brewing your first Wiccanweld potion. But there are many potions yet to learn. This is going to be a busy year. I imagine it is. Not just for I Jonathan here. Utter rubbish. Wish I could just replace it with one from Jay Pippins. Yeah, you have to buy that. Do you have infinite money? Do you know an infinite money charm? Because I'll take that. Don't fret if you run out of ingredients. I simply grow most of what I need. Or you could do what she does. Which in turn. in return you could grow money he's just going to tell me to go into his office and grab it so let's just go there okay that's not the office what do I need and I've been in here before. Uh, I just took everything I didn't know what I needed. Remember, precision is key when brewing potions. This is going to be bad, I already know it. Gareth. Hello again. 
Changed my mind. Here's the fruit feather you wanted. Knew you'd come around. Brilliant. Thank you. This is going to take a moment to brew. You should get back to brewing your Adurus potion, and I'll tell you when this concoction's finished. Hey, don't blow up the classroom. Should you chop the didney or crush it? The wrong answer could result in the unfortunate loss of your eyebrows. One gold coin. I guess I could have left it there. Alright, so now we gotta do one of these. Oh, we don't have to do that the entire time? Stir. 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 Now we add the mallow sweet, and that's odd. Well, that's what What's I thought. Happening? Wait, it's not supposed to. Ah! Get it! Get it! Oh! Dragon dog! What happened? <laughs> well done, Garrett. What now, Mr. Weasley? Sorry, Professor. That'll be points from Gryffindor. Again, Mr. Weasley did not do this on his own. His accomplice will answer to me as well. Just a moment. What the fuck did I tell you? <laughs> Wasn't expecting that literally to blow up in my face. It was rather brilliant, though. I'd better clean up. You should finish brewing your potion if you haven't already. I've already brewed the potion. I did it perfectly, and then you damn near blew up the uh, entire classroom. My friend, Miss Onai here. And Sebastian Salo. These are my friends. Watch out. Alright. I'm sorry. I knew he was going to fuck up. <laughs> I brewed an Adurus potion as you asked, Professor. I'm surprised you had the time. You seemed rather busy helping Mr. Weasley brew chaos. That is true. I'm sorry, Professor. I was merely trying to help a friend. Taking responsibility for one's actions does go a long way with me. I shall assume that you've learned a lesson. As for the work you did today at your own cauldron, I will say you've done well. I confess I was skeptical given the advanced nature of this class and the fact you're a new student. I'm glad I was able to meet your expectations. A rare occurrence. And you do well to remember that you're not a potions master quite yet. In addition to having a solid grasp of how to combine various ingredients, you should gain an understanding of the ingredients themselves. Pay particular attention in herbology. The plants you nurture there are often essential to the potions you brew here. Now, I recommend that you find a safe location in which to practice brewing. You cannot leave a hot cauldron simply anywhere. That'll be all. I think each of us has had enough excitement for one day. Class is dismissed. I'm a level 13 wizard now. What level are you, Gareth? That was an interesting class. Thanks to you. Wasn't precisely what I had in mind, but it was still brilliant. I appreciate your help. I hope Sharp wasn't too disagreeable when you handed in your potion. I heard him talking about taking responsibility. Professor Sharp wasn't happy. Leave me out of your grand plans next time. Sorry to hear that. Hopefully he's already forgotten about it. Sharp may seem gruff, but I'd bet a few galleons he blew up a potion or two in his day. Best be off. Next time we talk, I promise, fewer explosions. I believe he did it a different way, though. Felt, felt like he was actually trying to make a potion as opposed to, let's see what this can do. 
and get someone else to get their ingredients for them. Alright? Just saying. Just calm down, sir. Let's go get our plant. No. Let's get our plant. Possibly brew, an, uh, not brew, but uh, plant another one in its place. This is not the plant room. This is not the plant room I need. There you are. Let's, uh, what does that say? Oh, I guess. Okay. Rolling, rolling, rolling. And I think with that... Not the astronomy tower. With that, I think this is where we are going to leave the episode for today because I have run out of time. And I still have to edit them because I mean, you want to see them, right? Yeah, it's just got so much going on there. I only have so much time to actually record where I spend the entire week doing the edit, so for all the videos. It's not like I spend all week on this video. <laughs> Clearly, it's pretty raw, right? <laughs> That's the way I like it. That way you know that I haven't missed a thing and or that you haven't missed a thing. That uh I saw and surprised me or didn't you know that's the whole point of reacting so yeah which position would you play in Quidditch let me know down in the comments why don't you head about that like button while you're there and subscribe for more content like this if you are not subscribed already directly across the screen from me is the Hogwarts Legacy playlist for you to check out and beneath it I'm just going to throw I don't know best for viewer why not <laughs> so it's the video best for you so again thank you humans so much for watching and engaging and enjoying the playthrough I'll see you star side